What's up everyone? Those fell off. Um, so, UFC 215, UFC 216 have done pretty bad in the pay-per-view buys. Um, UFC 215 says it's estimated right now about 100,000. UFC 216 uh, estimated around 150. Um, and then 213 it says around 150 as well. Um, I don't know what the UFC can do to promote these fighters. I don't know what the fighters can do to promote themselves, but I just feel that you're just going to run into this. Um, right now, Connor's the only giant star. Um, you have a few other lower tier stars, but Connor's the only one right now that's destroying. Um, you know, UFC's in a tough spot right now with new ownership and, you know, Reebok deal and new rules. And it's just. It, it's how it goes with combat sports, in my opinion. I was thinking about this the other day. Um, you look at like a basketball game. They got a mascot. They got it's very fan friendly with like halftime games or halftime shows during like during the first half, like during the second quarter and the third quarter. Um, you know they got the merchandise sales. It's very you know they got music playing, fun music playing, so a lot of fan activity and it's a very fan friendly, very family friendly event. So that's where your big demographic is. Same with, you know, NFL's huge just for its promotion. But as far as like NBA, as far as even hockey, it's very fan friendly. And the UFC's because it's fighting, you're not gonna get a family over to fight. You're not gonna see a wife and husband and, you know, daughter, son at a UFC event. You're just not gonna see that. You're not gonna see a UFC mascot running around. So I think like that as far as live events they're going to suffer a bit, but you will get the hardcore fans selling places out. But the reason pay-per-view buys don't do so well is just because you're not going to get families. You're not going to get the average person to buy a pay-per-view for fighting. You're just not going to get it. It's such a unique thing where movies, the demographic for movies is so much larger. Demographic for music is so much larger. NBA, 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 NFL, NHL, like NHL, uh, and UFC is just this like singular thing that Either you're a fan or you're not. With NBA, you can go to the NBA game, have a couple of beers, go to a baseball game, have a couple of beers with your friends, have a good time. You're not going to get that with the UFC. The fans at the UFC are fans of MMA, where fans at the, uh, the baseball game are just there. Some fans are hardcore fans, some fans are casual fans, some fans are just there to kill an afternoon. So the UFC pay per views reflect that as far as like. If the NBA was on pay-per-view, every game was on pay-per-view, they would have killer numbers just because there's more of an audience. The UFC is still new, so these pay-per-view buys just reflect on the sport and where it is as far as stars and just what it is, what it is as a you, you, uh, individual thing. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, that's why I don't really read into pay-per-view buys. One, because I don't really care. I'm going to watch UFC no matter what. I don't care if I'm the only one buying it. I'm watching it. You know, there's a lot of people like that. Same with Bell Tour, same with, you know, other organizations. We're, we're fans, so we don't care. Um, it's just it's just fuel fuel for the, the trolls to um, look at the numbers and go look at, you know, and then you see their business, they're going to obviously look at the numbers. Um, I'm just, the main point of this video is to talk about the low numbers and also just to not, I don't know, I just... To not really to point bring in my perspective on it, just not being a bad thing. You know, does every pay per view have to be hundred five hundred thousand? Does it always have to be a million? Like it's just you're gonna get these where there's gonna be low pay per views. Um, you know, I think the UFC for a while it was very mainstream, it was very fun with Tabo and Affliction and all the sponsors, and now it's just become very corporate, very corporatized, and very. Uh, just for the hardcore fans, um, they like used to be so cool. Now the Ultimate Fighter is not as good. It's like so the UFC is just in a tough spot right now. But um, I I don't know. I don't want to say they'll, they'll bounce back because I don't think they. You know, it's just it's just how it is. I feel with the um, with MMA. It's just how the fans are. You just you're not going to get a million fans to watch Nunes and Shashenko. You're not. You're going to get the hardcore fans. That's the only people you're going to watch. So. If the UFC, or you're the UFC or you look at the pay-per-view buys going, we're not making any money. We've got all these employees. We've got all these fighters to, to pay. 
and this is our pay-per-view number, so I guess, you know, maybe you can look at it that way, but at the end of the day, to me, the numbers don't matter. Um, you know, a lot of people will look at them and say, you know, the UFC is dying or the UFC this. It's just numbers, man. Watch the fight, and in my mind, you know, if people are going to watch, they're going to watch. There's nothing you can do to change people's minds to watch, unless you're Conor McGregor. Um, people are just going to watch me because of yeah, how he is as an individual. But if you want 215, you know, to get 500,000 pay-per-view buys, and you have Nunez, uh, 215, what was 215? Yeah, Nunez and Shishenko. If you're going to have Nunez and Shishenko, and you're going to get, you want 500,000, then you just got to get 500,000. You know, like, you're, you're either going to get 500000 or not. Um, there's no way of getting the casual fan to buy into something they don't know about. Um, so that's what, I've, what my point is about how NBA reaches such a giant demographic with the UFC, MMA. It's just this little window where it's just fan, hardcore fans are fans of fighting. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I made my point. I might have just rambled through this entire video, but the point of this video is the UFC pay-per-view buys for 215, 216 were really low. 213 was really low as well. 214 was the only shining one. I think it almost did a million. I think it did like 850. Um, just the point of it, just to kind of give my, my opinion on it being low and not really caring and saying that I'll watch it no matter what. I know there's a lot of hardcore fans that will watch pay-per-views no matter what and watch fighting no matter what. Um, so no need to worry, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it. Um, if I got my point across, then I did. If I didn't, I apologize for wasting your time. <laughs> um, but yeah, pay-per-view buys are low, but the UFC will prevail. It's such a giant industry. MMA is you know, very global, so I think we'll be all right. Maybe? I don't know. Bright, bright guy.